In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can cast a string into an int in Python, how to avoid getting errors and exceptions in your code, and also when this feature can be very useful for you. So let's say that you have a string, let's name, uh, let's create a variable my str is equal to uh, 45. So you have a number that is actually with quotes. So this is actually a string. If you do print uh, type my str, okay, and I run this, you can see we have class str. Okay, this is a number, but this is actually a string for Python. So you can't use this for computations. It's not going to work. So now I'm going to do number is equal to int my str. You can use the int function Okay, and inside the, so the parameter will be the string, so either the variable or directly the value, and this is going to convert this into an integer. So if I do type number, now you can see that the number type is integer. So the variable number currently has the value 45. And now, so let's say I have a 45 hello like this. What's going to happen is that well, you have a value error because you can't cast this into an integer. Okay, the error is from that line, as you can see here, line three, okay, value error. So if you want to catch that exception in your code, when you want to uh, cast a string into an integer, what you can do is to use a try except structure. So I'm going to remove that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do try so let's actually put maybe number is equal to zero first and then put number is equal to int my str inside a try and accept what accept value error okay we have value error from the error here so we know that's this one so if you have a value error i'm going to just print can't cast the string into it and if we can i'm going to do print uh, number all right so let's try again and now you can see can't cast the string into it but we don't have any exception okay the program is successful and if i have 45 you can see we have the value 45 as an integer here so that's how you can cast a string into an int and make sure that you don't get any exception in your code. And this can solve a lot of problems, actually. For example, let's say you have an input from a user. Okay, let's say now my string is actually input. Um, how old are you? So this, what it's going to do is going to ask the user for an input. So actually, let's run that. How old are you? It's going to wait until you provide some value. Once you have provided some value, it's going to put it into my str, but it's going to put it as a string, not as an integer. So if you put 23, for example, this is going to be a string, and then you have to cast it into an int so you can use it in your program, okay? So here it's working because I cast the string value into an integer. And if I run again, and let's say I provide some uh, just garbage string, you can see we can't cast the string into an integer. Okay, so that's one use case of when you should cast what you get as an input to integer. Okay, so you can use the number you got. And also with the try except structure, you can make sure you don't get any error in your code. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Python step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.